What's up, YouTube? Georgia Silver Hunter back with some more half dollar box hunts. Now, it's been a little bit of time since I posted. Um, mainly that's because I've been really wrapped up in that coin collection that I posted videos on over the last couple of weeks. And uh, I did a bunch of boxes last week. I did five, as a matter of fact. And I think I only pulled two or three coins out of five boxes. And there was nothing really special. I think I had four complete skunk boxes. No stickers, no necklace coins, no NIFCs, literally nothing. So I ended up just not posting the video because it really wasn't that, that exciting. I couldn't bring myself to edit it. So hopefully this week we've turned things around. This is box one of, I believe, seven that I have. So let's jump into this and hope we find something exciting right off the opening. Boom, moment of truth. All right, now that you guys know the problem with these boxes is short of literally going lifting every single roll, there's no easy coin roll to get underneath, but I'll check a few. I don't see any silver off the bat, so I'm going to get these pushed back, I'll get them open, and I will bring you guys in at the first find. roll number seven and I wanted to stop here and bring you in because we are at our first find. It's not a great one but it's a find nonetheless. Let's zoom in here. It's a 2006 D. It's got a little bit of ring of death on it but it is a find. And other than that ring it's actually in pretty good shape. So let's get through these last couple. All right nothing left in here. So before I get back to the rolls uh, let's take a moment here. If you haven't already go down below this video click that like button Click that subscribe button. Click that bell and select all so you get notified every time I release a new video. And uh, hopefully you enjoy the rest of my content. Let's get back to these rolls. So we may be back on the silver. Just tore in to roll number 13. I didn't want to take it out yet. You can see right here, that's probably silver. Let's get it open, have a look. Come on, come on. It sounds like it. A 1967. So we are back on some silver. It's a 40 percenter, but we will take it all day long over NIFCs. So let's put it on the board and keep on hunting. So we are on roll, I think this is 37. Uh, on the way here, I did get this really cool toned 1971. It looks like it's a little dirty, but at the same time, you kind of got this cool rainbow toning on it. I'm probably not going to keep it, but it was kind of a neat coin. And, you know, as I said, in those boxes that I got last week, almost complete skunk boxes, and I was rewarded in this one with another necklace coin. And uh, it's got a little eyeshadow on it. So nothing special in those, but you, you tend to find stuff like this pretty frequently. That'll go back in the bin. But uh, here I am, mid-roll. I have a 2004D. And I have another shiny one uh, that I saw when I took it out of the out of the out of the pack. So, or when I took it out of the wrapping. Let's just go through here and see what it is together. I haven't looked at it yet, so it may just be a shiny ninety-nine. Is that it? Let's just keep going through them. That's bicentennial, bicentennial. Oh, and there's a two thousand and three. D. So two NIFCs there. I dumped it in there and forced. I got to pull it out. Um, let's see here. Bicentennial, bicentennial. All right. So two NIFCs in that batch. And we've got, what is that? 13 rolls to go. Hopefully we find some more silver like this guy before we get to the end. All right. Well, we are down to our last roll of this first box. Figured we'd open it together. Let's see how we do. Okay, well, that does it for this first box. Um, the star of the show, we ended up with a 1967 40% silver. So that makes any box well worth the hunt. We did have three not great NIFCs. They're not intended for circulation. Um, anything after 2002 falls into that category. 
these are a little rough. They're they're not in great shape. You know, if they're they're not supposed to be in circulation, they should look nicer than this. So these are pretty well circulated. These will go back in the bin. Um, and I did find a necklace coin, which you do find, you know, pretty regularly in the boxes in this pretty cool toned 1971D. So these two will probably go back in the box as well. But this is fairly typical of a box, minus the silver. Silver, it comes and it goes. Like I said, last week we had... Uh, this is probably more fines than I had in five or six full boxes last week. Um, and this one, one silver trumps every box that I went through. So anyway, with that said, I'm going to put these aside and we're going to bring box number two over here and get right into it. And here we are with box number two. seeing any silver here either. It's been a while since we've had some silver enders. I guess that epic box we did, we had one silver ender on the bottom of the box. All right, well, we'll get these open. We'll bring in at the first find. All right, we are in roll number one. You got to love it when you open roll number one and you see something that looks kind of silvery. Oh, that's reading you guys. It could be one of those gold-plated coins. I don't know. It looks silvery to me, though. Probably a 40 percenter. A 1966 40% silver. Just check the edges. All right, well, the rest of that looks like clad. I have a lot of high hopes for this box now that we're in roll one and we've already got one silver. So this box is already a winner. Hopefully we get a lot more where that came from. Since roll number one had a silver in it, I'm gonna go ahead and open this next roll or probably the next couple of rolls really on camera, just in case we end up with one of these boxes that just has, oh, if I didn't even finish getting the statement out. I was gonna say, if this is one of those boxes that has a couple of silvers in it. Um, wow. Wow. So if you guys, uh, I'll, I'll post a link to the video in this upper corner here. Uh, this box came from the same bank that I had that epic haul in a couple of weeks ago. And I have two really shinies. And this super shiny here, I'll zoom in so you guys can see that. Uh, they were all Proof Benjis last time. So let's see what we got in this box. No, it's not a Proof. Well, maybe it's a Proof. It is a beautiful, beautiful 40%. This has to be a Proof. It's like got a almost a mirror finish to it. Look at that. That is a beautiful coin. I mean, it's only 40%, but it's beautiful. 65 Philly. I mean, if you compare those two, just look at the shine on that. All right. We got one more in here. We have 90%. A 1964. Looks like a Philly. No mint mark on the back. So we are at 190, 240s, and we are two rolls into this box. All right, well, I'm gonna cut the camera here, get through these coins, and I'll bring you back in for roll number three. All right, here we go. Grabbing roll number three. No enders. Couple of shinies, I don't see any silver. 91 and a bicentennial. Roll number five. And we've got silver. Another really shiny edge. Maybe this is a different collection dump. This, this had the same edge as that 65 a minute ago. 
1957. Looks like a proof Benji. Hopefully that's focusing. Let me stand up here so I can see it with you. Look at this thing. We've got another 90%. Crazy. Maybe this is the sister box to that, because like I said, it came from the same bank. Uh, it's possible this was because there was one box that I didn't get a chance to pick up the week that I uh, had that epic dump. And maybe this is the sister box to that. Maybe not. Maybe it's just, a, maybe I got lucky again. But it did come from the same bank. All right. Let's do roll number six together here. Nope, looks like clad. Okay, so I filmed like three rolls in a row and didn't have any silver in it, so I didn't film roll number nine. And I just got done peeling back the paper and hiding under the edge. Looks like we might have some more silver. A 1967, 40 percenter. So far, we got a Benji, a 64, 65, 66, and 67. This is turning out to be an awesome, awesome box. Same roll. I hate to bring you in for this, but it's different. It's a really, really bad. Looks to be 2006 P NIFC. It's a find, and uh, I wanted to bring you in for it. So first NIFC of the box, worth 50 cents, but it's not supposed to be there. Let's go ahead and open roll number 10 together. We've got shiny. I don't think we're going to have silver, though. Let's see here. We have a 2017 NIFC. A really nice 1985. And that's probably it. All right. Okay, so this is roll 15, and I ripped the paper off real fast. I can't seem to get my timing right. I really should just film the opening of all these rolls. But uh, with the paper, it was covering here and here, and I saw that one shiny, and I thought maybe an NIFC, and I went ahead and just ripped it off. And when I did, look what came underneath. A 1968, looks to be like a D. It's got a little crud around it, but I think it's gonna be a 68D. So that will be our fourth NIFC of the box, or I'm sorry, fourth 40% silver of the box. That's just a shiny 95. All right, well, I'll record opening the next couple just in case. Uh, let me get through this clad and I'll bring you back in. Here we are on roll 22. We got a Ring of Death, 2018 PNIFC. This is roll 25 and we'll be done with the top rack of the box. All right, so we got one. This could be a proof. This looks really shiny in here. Yep, we got a proof. We have a 1974S. This is a fantastic looking proof in a circulated roll. So this has been a great box. We've got NIFCs. We've got 40% silver. We have 90% silver. We have proof 90% silver. This is a great, great box. Well above average. Well, the rest of this box is um, clad. Let me stand up here. Uh-oh. I'm just now getting up to look in the bottom half of the, the box. And if you look, it shows up really well for me. I don't think it shows up very well on camera, but we do have an ender. That's a 1967. All right, well, I'm going to crack into this bottom rack in just a second. So we're on roll 36. This is the roll in the bottom rack here that has an ender, a 1967 Philly, it looks like. The box has really slowed down. We opened up strong on those first couple of rows. We had a nice proof somewhere near the, uh, you know, I don't, I don't even remember which rolls it was um, now, but it was, you know, later in the top half of the rack. But so far in the bottom, we have found nothing. So let's get into this. We know at least we're going to have one 40 percenter. Let's hope we find more. It 
looks like that is going to be about it. So if we do have this 1967 on top, I will take it. Everything else inside. Oh, nope, it's a double. There's a 1968. There it is. There were two of them. Pick this up so you can see it a little closer. We had a 1968. Yep, nothing else. So we had a double in there. That actually worked out. The rest of this looks like clad. So I will make my way through it and bring you in if we find anything else. Okay, so we have uh, gone through all of the potential errors and varieties and found nothing. So we're going to wrap up box number two here. We did end up with this beautiful, I mean, it's got some scratches. It's, it's got some problems, but this is a, a really beautiful 1957 Ben Franklin proof. Uh, like, uh, what do they call this? A deep mirror gem proof, something like that. I mean, it's scratched, so it wouldn't grade that well. But that is beautiful to find in a roll of half dollars circulated. Uh, melt value alone on these, uh, you know, maybe 10 bucks, a little over 10 bucks in a private sale today uh, for a 90% silver. We did, did end up with a 1964 90% silver. I believe this is also a proof. 1965, you can see the mirroring on it. Um, this is a beautiful 1965 40% half. We did end up, I'm not going to lift all of these up, a 66, 267s, and 268s for five 40% silvers in that second box. And uh, off the top of my head, these are probably three fifty, four dollars bucks a piece at melt. We did end up with five NIFCs ranging from like 2006 up to 2018. I'm going to uh, actually stop my video here because I have some more boxes this week and my fear is they're all going to be skunks and I'd rather film those separately and post those separately because we're two for two on here and that doesn't happen very often. So quick recap of box number one. We did have another 1967. Um, let me zoom in here a little bit. Another 1967, 40% half in that first box. And we did end up with a 2004, a 2006, and a 2003 and IFC, along with a really kind of cool toned 1971. So if I can get it to focus there. And our store to standard necklace coin. So anyway, these were great boxes. To get this much silver in two boxes, two for two, especially considering last week we were pretty much skunked, is a, a really good time. So if you're new to coin roll hunting, this is not the norm. Um, I've been very fortunate over the last two or three weeks to find a lot of silver but I do go through spurts of finding nothing. And sometimes those spurts are weeks on end, 10, 20, 30 boxes. Um, so I'm very happy with the silver we found today. So thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead, look below this video and click that like button. Help me out in the search algorithm. Click that subscribe button. Uh, you'd be surprised, like 60 to 70% of my viewership does not click that subscribe button. I'd like to get that number closer to like 40 to 50%. And uh, click that like button and uh, select all. I'm sorry, not like, but that little bell and select all so you get notified every time I drop a new video. So with that, I'll close it up here. Extremely happy to get as much silver as we did. Very cool stuff. There's my 40%. There's my 90%. You guys take care. As I said, I've got a couple more boxes that I'm going to get and hopefully film this week, and they'll get posted later in the week or this weekend. Anyway, take care, see you guys, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.